Wow, this thing is sick. Ha, huh. so radical, dude. I have not bought a new camera in a really long time. I think it's been close to eight years and even then it was a Canon 6D and it was discounted at the time because it was a fairly old model. I've considered myself a photographer for 10 years or so and that goes to show that I haven't been keeping up with the best gear. Although I do have to say that I worked at an agency between beginning photography and where I'm at now so I didn't have to purchase my own gear for working there. Uh, so we used Sony gear for that. Um, but I've always been a huge Canon fan. So I wanted to go back to my roots of where I began. If you're anything like me, it took me forever to decide what gear to buy. I bashed my head off of this idea for far too long and finally decided that I needed to just pull the trigger because so many of the recent cameras are incredible pieces of equipment and are more than capable of creating amazing films and photographs. So with the price point that this Canon 60 Mark II came in at, including the 24 to 105 lens, it just seemed like a no brainer for an all around travel compatible, lightweight setup that could do both video and photo very well. So that's kind of why I went with the Canon R6 Mark II. It seemed like the best of both worlds. I could shoot 4K 60 in video, and I could also take amazing photos. And I do quite a bit of both for my work and personal projects. So this just seemed like the best route to go. So let's actually dive into opening this thing. I'll start with the lens. I did the kit with the 24 to 105 F4. I like to keep my gear as lightweight and mobile as possible. And so that's why I went with the kit with this lens. Uh, it's a little bit of a discounted price if you buy it with the kit. So it just seemed like a good place to start until I decide what RF lenses I want to go with. Right off the bat, I'm super stoked about the size of this lens. Uh, just last week, I rented the Canon RF 24-70 for a shoot, and it was a really nice solid lens, but it was pretty bulky. So to see that they have the 24 to 105 with a bigger zoom range and a quite a bit smaller package, pretty excited about that. Not sure what that little shake is. Um, obviously with this, you get a nice zoom. Even when it's fully zoomed in at 105, not super big. So I'm already excited about the size of this thing and the overall portability of it. And I think it's gonna be really nice paired with the already small body R6 Mark II. She's pretty. I really like the way that these new Canon cameras uh, feel in the hand. And I do like they're a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact, a little less bulky than the old um, DSLR lineup. Another huge thing I wanted with the R6 Mark II was the flip out screen. And then obviously it kind of rotates and oscillates. This is a huge feature that I always use for video for sure. And even with photos more so nowadays. When I got used to the Sony cameras that I used to use, I kind of became very used to using the LCD for uh, photography rather than looking through the viewfinder all the time, just because it gave me a lot more angles to play around with. I could hold the camera down low, I could hold it, hold it up high, and I wouldn't have to be looking through the viewfinder in order to snag a good photo. Another big selling point for this for me was the easy toggle between photo and video on this side. Um, I think that'll be a really nice feature as I do swap pretty often between the two, hopefully make it more efficient. All right, let's throw the lens on the camera and let's pair this thing together. Whew, that's a really nice setup. This honestly reminds me a lot of the feeling of like a Canon T3i or the old Rebel series. This is very comparable to that setup and can do so much more than those could do back in the day. Man, this is sick, I love it. I'm also really stoked about this control ring on the new lenses uh, that can be set to whatever sort of setting you want it to be. You can set it to your aperture, you can set it to your ISO. And that's just another thing that you can quickly adjust without having to think about it. It's right there where your hand's gonna be anyway. And um, it's just a nice feature to uh, shoot quickly for running gun setups. I'm still confused at what that like, I'm not sure what that's about. It's probably not a good thing. 
I do have to say that the body feels a little bit cheap. It feels a little plasticky. Don't think it's a big deal. I think they're really solid and we'll be able to hold up to the elements, but I will certainly be putting them to the test in that way because I am outside shooting, whether we're shooting fishing or in the van or any kind of adventure that we're on. I'm also really stoked about this rate button. That's something I really missed for my 7D Mark II back in the day. Um, it had a rate setting and if I shot a banger photo or something like that, I would just hit that real quick. So that way it's one less step I need to do when choosing my selects or my cataloging my photos. Setting that up to maybe kind of catalog your footage or your photos kind of while you're on the run is going to be kind of a nice option to have. So let's dive into actually using this thing. Here's some footage straight out of this camera. Well, <laughs> my camera decided not to turn on. So uh, I am just got off the phone with B&H and they're sending me a new one and I'm returning this one because it literally will not turn on, but a new one's on the way. We got it. We're gonna try this again and see if this camera actually works. Looks just as beautiful as the first one. Maybe not inside, but on the outside. Here's the lens, still got the same clunk that the first one did. Let's, uh, See if this battery has any charge on it. The moment of truth. You guys are gonna watch it with me. Bro, I'm telling you. Dude. All right, we're gonna charge the battery and hope that this works. <laughs> All right, it's been about an hour. The battery was charging the whole time. It said it was at about 50% with the two blinks on the charger. Throwing this in here. Oh my word, it works, dude. All right, I think we're good to go. So now here is some footage that I shot with the camera. Ended up staring 